In this video, we will factor four polynomial expressions. This will be the first problem. This will be the second problem. The third problem. And finally, the fourth problem. So let's get started with the first one. So we want to factor this expression completely. Um, the one thing that we notice about this problem is that each term has an x. So right away, we can factor out an x. So we could do x parentheses x squared minus 5x plus 6. And so if you think about it, x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 5x is negative 5x squared. x times 6 is 6x. And now we attempt to factor this term out. And so we'll first write x right here, this x right here, parentheses, parentheses, and since it's an x squared, we could say x, x. And now we need to think, how can we get 6? So we want two numbers that multiply to give us 6, to give 6. But also, we want two numbers that add to give negative 5x. So we want two numbers that when we multiply, we would get 6. And two numbers that when we add, we would get negative 5x. So we need to think, OK, if I was to say negative 3, negative 2, we think, does that work? x times x is x squared. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. So that's good. x times negative 3 is negative 3x, negative 3x, and negative 2 times x is minus 2x. And so that would be minus 5x, so it's good. And so another note about this, it's two numbers that add to give negative 5x. It's two numbers, but in here we have a one constant. But if this was, for example, a number, it wouldn't be exactly adding to give us negative 5x. But for this problem, this is the final answer. And now we'll do the second problem. So we'll do almost the exact same thing. So we can factor this term out. So we have 5u raised to the 6. So this is the first thing that we're going to play with. So in order to get this, we could do 5u raised to the 3rd times u raised to the 3rd. So 5u raised to the 3rd times u raised to the 3rd would be 5u raised to the 6. Now we think, how can we get 12? So what? how can we get possibly get 12? We could do 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. But in our case, this is negative. So one of these terms must be negative. And so let me just try one, one example. What if I did negative 3 plus 4? So negative 3 plus 4 is negative 12. 5u raised to the third times u raised to the third is 5u raised to the sixth. And now for the middle term. Now in the last problem, we had a 1 for both of these terms. And that's why we were able to add very quickly. But in this case, it's a little bit different. One more step. 5u raised to the third times negative 3. That's going to be negative 15u raised to the third. Then 4 times u raised to the third would be plus 4u raised to the third. And so here, we would get negative 11u raised to the third. And so this right here would be the final answer. How do you try a couple other numbers like 1 and 12 or 2 and negative 6? It would not work. So if you want, you can even try it. This is the only possible answer. And now for the third problem. Almost the same thing, but in this problem, we could factor out a 2 immediately. We could do 2 parentheses, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And now we try to factor this out. So we have 2 parentheses, 2x, x. So 2x times x is 2x squared. Now we need to think, how can we get 3? There's only one possibility. 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. And so we could do plus 1 plus 3. And now we check. 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times 1 is 3. 2x times 1 is 2x. 
3 times x is 3x. And so this would, in fact, give us the 5x in the middle. So this would be the, po the only possible answer. And now for the fourth problem. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. And so this is a kind of easy one to mentally do. It would be x minus 3 times x minus 3. And I know this because x times x is x squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And so our middle term would be negative 6x. And so that's why I know this would be the um, answer immediately. And that's all we need to do for these problems.